okay so <clears throat> we'll start now today and uh, today we will be discussing <clears throat> about uh, uh, new data structure and uh, we will be discussing uh, linked list okay so so when you <clears throat> when you discuss about data structures uh, we can have uh, uh, we can divide data structures uh, physical and logical <coughs> okay <coughs> so physical means uh, uh, the the way uh, data is organized. <coughs> so we discuss one physical data structure, which is array. <coughs> so we discuss uh, why array is important and uh, <coughs> the problem uh, with array. So arrays are. Uh, uh, very easy to, I mean, uh, very fast to access. Okay, you can do random access. That is the most uh, uh, important stuff. So you can access this element or this element or this element or whatever element in the same uh, amount of time. If you know the position, you can directly go to the position. The other uh, uh, data structures, uh, the physical data structures are called linked data structures. So if you, uh, when you see the uh, arrays, you can see these arrays are static. So we discuss why, uh, why these arrays are stacking <clears throat> because uh, the me memory should be in the uh, same location or contiguous uh, location. Therefore, we cannot change the size. If you want to change the size, we have to create a new array. <clears throat> but uh, in some cases, we need uh, dynamic data structures. Dynamic. Dynamic means uh, the size or uh, the size changes always. Okay, uh, this means uh, you can uh, uh, insert or delete data. Okay, from it <clears throat> here. So the size is static, and here. Uh, we need, uh, so 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 in some algorithms uh, we need dynamic data structures. <clears throat> so for that we have to have a uh, new solution. So the solution is uh, creating linked data structures. So what is the meaning of linked? So for example, we can create uh, we can create some memory. Okay. So this is say uh, whatever whatever. And then we can create another uh, memory structure somewhere. And what we can do is we can link this stuff. Okay, something like this. So what is the meaning of a link? So <clears throat> in these uh, linked data structures, we call these stuff nodes and these stuff links. The meaning of link is, so if we, if we are here, we have a link. So we have a link between these two nodes. So this, these are nodes, we call them nodes. It can be any, any, anything. It can be a structure, class, or one variable or whatever. And then we need to have a link. So to have a link, we need to, so link means uh, from here, from A, say, to B, 
from uh, A, we have a link to B. So what is the meaning? How do you, how can you do this? So if you are in A, we have a link. That means we can go, so can go from A to B. So how can you go from A to B? So we have so memory addresses. So, so we have a memory address of this one, some memory address, so starting memory address. And what we have to do is we have to store. So what we have to do is we have to store the memory uh, memory address of uh, uh, this thing. Sorry, that's, that was a disturbance. <clears throat> um, so, so what we can to uh, to do this? Can you hear hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so what we uh, so how to do this is the uh, next issue. So, so we have to in our node. So usually we have data. So if you take an array, we have only data. But in this node, in a linked data structure, so we call it a node, we have to have a new section, which is called link. Okay, so link means to store the address. So what, what kind of variable we have to have in here? Okay. We have to have a pointer here. Okay, so this is how we can uh, <clears throat> store the address of the next node. So here we have to have a uh, address of the next node. So how can we do this? So <clears throat> so so this is a com uh, complex or co compound. So this is not a primitive, so we cannot have a primitive type. Okay. We cannot have a primitive type of variable. So we cannot do this using integer or floating point or character or anything. We have no complex type. So there are two complex, uh, I mean compound type uh, uh, in the uh, C++. One is we call it structures. The other one is classes. <clears throat> so using structures or classes, we can uh, create complex or compound data structures. So we have done this uh, last time. So in this, uh, so if you have a <clears throat> um, class or a structure, so uh, anything is okay in C++, both are almost same. There's only one different. So, so if you create a structure, the keyword is struct. Okay. So we will say node. And here we can have functions and uh, <coughs> data, data and functions inside the structure. So the first one, uh, <coughs> a value. So we will say key. So this is the first uh, variable. The second one, you can have any 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 number of variables, any number of data here. But we will uh, here only uh, we will uh, uh, limit this to uh, one variable because otherwise uh, it will take space and time to write. Okay. So so this is only variable. So this is the only data data section. So we can have. Uh, 
so there are two uh, sections data and link so so for data i am only using one variable you can have any number of variables or any com complex data types or anything and then we have to have a pointer okay so what is the type of this pointer so we will say next so the name is next so this is the pointer variable <coughs> so we have to <coughs> store an address okay so what is the type of variable type of this pointer so what what i am going to store so if you are going to store an integer uh, address or <coughs> address of an integer this should be integer pointer if it is an address of a floating point it's a floating point pointer but here what what i am going to store so here we are going to st uh, store the address of this node so the type should be node okay so so this is how we can create this uh, <coughs> complex data type so sorry so here we have data section and then we have link okay <coughs> so this is how we do it so can we do it so so the problem is the problem is we create the class name or structure name node and inside that one we use the same variable type okay so it's like a, uh, an infinite definition so so inside this one you have this one and inside this one you can have another thing or something like that but it will not be the case okay so for example the, the issue is uh, when you create this uh, data structure the, and the data type what happened is uh, so you have two sections one is integer okay so you know the size it's 4 bytes and here an address address of a node type okay so the any address is same size it doesn't matter it is an integer it's a floating char string uh, or node or car person or any class name uh, the address size is same it, it depends on the memory uh, address uh, bit size 32 bits or 64 bit depending on the computer architecture only the address size changes otherwise usually it's 64 bits means 8 bits 8 bytes so in a 64 bit computer the address is 8 bytes and 32 bit computer it's uh, 4 bytes okay so so you can see since even though this is node type you can allocate memory so the memory will be 12 bytes per each node okay so so even though we are using the same type you can do it okay but you cannot do something like this say node int x and node y so you cannot do this what is the reason the reason is so you create one node and x and then here again it's the node type so if you put a node type here it's again this one so each node type should have a x and another one and then this one should have a and again this a node because again node and uh, it will be infinite so this will be recursive we call it recursive uh, definition it recurs it uh, goes infinitely so you cannot uh, estimate the memory size if you do this so this one will not be allowed by the compiler so this is wrong so you cannot do this but this is okay so you cannot do this because it's not a recursive type so you know the memory uh, size of this uh, variable type so you can do it but here 
you don't know the size because you haven't finished the definition yet. So inside this one, you will have x again, x, 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 and uh, it will be infinite. So the compiler will uh, give you an error if you you just try to uh, do it and you will not be able to do it. Okay. So this is how we going to create a no. Okay. So so now so. <coughs> So I will draw the node like this now. So we have a data section and the, so this is uh, data, the key, and this is the next point, okay? <clears throat> and so since, so you can have any number of nodes like this, and here it's a pointer. So you can point, so that means I am uh, drawing like this now. So I'm going to draw like this in the diagrams. Okay, this means here in this location, I store the address of this node. And from here, I store address of another node. So, so you can see, so now you can have uh, something like this. Okay, so, so you can see now not like an array. This one you can have infinite number of, I'm not infinite, uh, depends on the memory, a large number of, or the, uh, I mean, uh, any number of uh, nodes here. So you can uh, increase the size of this uh, uh, <coughs> link list or list, link data structure, uh, any number of uh, amount, because uh, in an array, so you create the uh, whole, the, the full memory uh, when you are creating the or allocating memory. But here you can dynamically allocate memory. So the first time you, when, when the first node comes, you create one node and the second uh, data come, you create and the second node and create the link. And the th when the third data comes, you create the third data and third node and allocate data and then uh, if, you, if there's another one, you can allocate uh, another node. And if you, there's another one, you can allocate another, uh, sorry, another one. Likewise, you can have any number of uh, elements here, not like the array. Array is static. Okay. So you cannot uh, change data. And here, this one is dynamic. So, so there are many uh, linked data structures. We will learn one by one. The first one is called link list. Okay. Uh, we'll, uh, so we can have link list, list of link elements, something like this. So this is linear. So we call it a list. Okay, list is lists uh, list of numbers or whatever comes one after the other okay since it is a linked data structure we call it a linked list and then we can have uh, something like this okay this is not a list okay it's a different kind of uh, <clears throat> data structure so this is not linear you can see, we will discuss this later. It's like a tree, upside down tree. We call this kind of a data structure a tree. Okay. And then we can have something like this kind of stuff. This is a different uh, <coughs> data structure. So we call this graphs. So we will discuss these uh, uh, structures uh, one by one. So, so first, what we have to do is we will start discussing this. So this is the most simplest linked data structure. We call it a linked list. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So, 
so we can use so <clears throat> we can use a structure node pointer a pointer to the next node next or oh, a class <clears throat> so both these are perfectly fine so what is the difference there So what is the difference? So if they are almost same, what is the difference? Why we need two? The only difference is, so these data are public and these are private by default. Okay, if you don't say public or private, uh, access modifier in a class by default all the variables will be private by default if you don't say public here public then it will be public and here if we don't say anything uh, structure data all the data will be pu uh, public so you can access from outside here uh, if you uh, you cannot access them outside if you want to sorry if you want to access them from outside, you have to make them public. Okay, so so this is the only difference. So you can uh, use structure or uh, <coughs> class uh, interchange uh, link. Uh, so, but uh, you can uh, you, if you use a class, you can use constructors, destruct. Uh, and all those stuff and uh, it will be easy. so I will be using any both of them so you can use anything uh, uh, it is, uh, doesn't matter so if you are using C you don't have classes so you definitely uh, will have to use structures okay okay so now we have to uh, so we, we create the node and now we have to create a uh, <coughs> Link list classes. So there are two uh, several link lists. So first uh, link list is called singly link list. So what does mean singly? Singly means we have only one link, single link, single link. So you can see each node having only one link. So this one node. So you have you can see we have only one node, and then we have another. Uh, we will discuss them uh, later after a single link list. We call it dumpling link list. So each node has two. Uh, node. So one is for next node, the other one is for previous node. Okay, so we have two, two nodes, two links. So so we will discuss them later. Uh, why we need these uh, different uh, <coughs> different uh, uh, link uh, lists, uh, and uh, we will discuss it later. Okay. So first, uh, come first. So we need to uh, create a link list class now. Okay, so so we will create a new class singly link list. Okay, <clears throat> so now we need to have uh, some variables. to uh, store the uh, node. So we need to have a starting node. Okay. So in a link list, we should have an address of the starting node. 
in an array, we have we know we, we know the starting address is a if it, if it, if the array variable is a, a zero is the starting address. But here we don't have any uh, such address, so we need to have a pointer. So not pointer uh, to the starting address. So the starting node we call it head of the list. And then we should have a uh, link to the end of the uh, link list. So we call that uh, tail. So we need to have two pointers to point to the starting node of the link list and the ending node or the last node of the link list. And then we need to have a variable called size to store the size of the link list, the size of number of elements because uh, it is important. And then we have to have a public members. The first member is what? We can have a constructor. Okay. When you are creating the link list, it should be empty. So how do you uh, denote an empty link, link list? Empty means we don't have any nodes. Okay. So, so here list is should be empty. Okay. So how do you uh, denote or how do you uh, <clears throat> represent an empty list. Okay, how do you do it? So we don't have any nodes, that means our head. Should be should not point to anything. So how do you tell this to the program or compiler? So so we tell this. We have to make this null. Null means nothing. So head is null, and we make tail equals null. Oops. Excuse me, sir. Yes. So we can't hear you well. It's happening time frequently. Cannot hear. Yeah, something like lag. Because it's raining here, uh, so maybe that that may be the reason. Uh, so how do you do it? Um, so can you hear me now? Or? It's lagging, sir. Voice and the video. Once and the video is lagging. Mm. Yes, that's true. So I will uh, try to maybe I will I will uh, yep. Yeah. I will check this. Uh, I will uh, post uh, uh, for a small uh, time, and uh, we will. Uh, I will check is what is the problem, and come back in a few minutes. Okay.
Hello? Can you hear me now or now? Yes, I hear you. Okay, uh, let's see. So I was. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So what we uh, discuss here is. Uh, so we have uh, uh, the constructor, uh, <clears throat> we should declare an empty list. And uh, in the empty list, um, what we, uh, uh, how to say is, uh, our head is null and the tail is null. So then, we have to make the size variable equals zero. Okay, so this is uh, the main uh, uh, things we have to do in the uh, list. Other than that, uh, we have to create all the other functions. Okay. Uh, the other functions are, uh, so any data structure, we should have some uh, functions like uh, uh, print or display. And then uh, we should have some function uh, uh, for insert, delete, and uh, there can be any other uh, <clears throat> functions, okay? So we will uh, write these functions one by one and discuss this. So first, uh, what we will do is we will <clears throat> create uh, a function uh, uh, to, uh, we will write this uh, function and see uh, how, it, uh, how we can do it, okay? So we will, I will uh, start the Visual Studio and then uh, we will discuss uh, how to uh, create this in uh, program. So you can uh, use any uh, compiler, online compiler or Visual Studio or anything. Okay. So
so <clears throat> so i um, started um, So now I started um, <coughs> Visual Studio, and uh, now what I will do is uh, <coughs> I will create a new class. I will add a new class. Called Silver Link List. Okay. And I will make this class inline. That means uh, I will not have a C, C file, uh, an H file, a header file separately. I will have only one file. Okay. So everything I will write inside that file. So I'm not using two files. Okay. So I make it inline. And now it will be having one class. Okay. So I will include, uh, okay, uh, first I need to have a dot class. So you can have a structure or uh, structure or uh, um, class, okay. So if you use a structure, it will be something like this. Okay. If you use a class, so you need only <clears throat> you need to change the uh, keyword. Okay. And if we, if it is a class, you need to make this public. Otherwise, you will not be able to access it from outside. And then you have to have a constructor. Uh, so you can make a constructor. Uh, so you can have an empty constructor equal zero. Okay. And in the next point, so when you create an, one. Uh, <clears throat> one node, okay. Uh, the there there is no link to the next node, so it's just a single node. So the next pointer we can make it null. Okay. So you can see there's an error. So this null keyword is not included. In, to include that one, you have to include the header file IO stream. Otherwise, this null keyword is not identified because it's defined in that library. So you can see now uh, the error disappeared. And <clears throat> so you can have another uh, constructor, overloaded constructor. You can pass the key and then you can make it key. You can uh, store it here. And next is again equals. So this is the uh, overloaded constructor. So we discuss these things uh, in previous uh, semesters. And this is an empty constructor. Okay, so. <clears throat> So these two are not necessary, but it's easy for us um, if we have these two constructors. Otherwise, we have to initialize uh, next pointer to null always. So if we just start, if we use a uh, structure, we have to do it. So in a class, we create a two constructors, and we can get away with this. Okay. So now our link list class. Okay. So so we have to have a class. So we have to have private members and uh, public members. Public members can be accessed from outside. 
and the private members cannot be accessed from the outside. So one is not pointer head, address of the first node, and node pointer tail, and the integer size or count, or whatever. And then, oops. We need to have a <coughs> constructor for this class. So when you create the class, our head will be null. So we discuss this. And our tail will be null. And our size will be zero. And the first, so now we have to, so now uh, this is fine. Okay, so we have a node class and it actually it has two variables, a data section, so this is data. And this is the link. Okay. So you can have any number of data, but we will, uh, for simplicity, we will only have a key uh, to identify the node. So ID or something like that. And then we have, we can have any number of uh, constructors. This is not necessary, but we may this uh, we create the constructors to initialize our node uh, by passing a value. And then um, this is our list class. So we should have a starting address and ending address and the number of variables. And when you create the linked list, there's no starting address, it will be null. And tail, uh, the ending address also null. And this is zero. Okay, so now we can go to the, our main method and uh, to uh, <coughs> include this uh, class, we have to include our header file where we create the uh, linked list class. So now we can use it singly linked list. And we create a variable from our class. Okay, so we don't have anything. I mean, we don't have anything defined here because uh, there are no public members defined in the in our Class. So now we can compile this and uh, so we can see and there's no errors uh, it compiled. So I have, I think I have to, okay, uh, I will do it later. Okay, so now we have uh, this uh, linked list class and um, node class, okay? So now both are there. So we will uh, now go uh, back to uh, our whiteboard. and discuss how to uh, <coughs> create this uh, link list. So, so now our list class, we have head pointer, which is null, and uh, tail pointer, also null, and we have size equal zero. So now, so we need to create an insert function and we pass some data okay and uh, so this is how the function will look like so what we have to do okay so when we pass a value okay first we create a node and 
सोने वैल्यू देन then uh, what we have to do is uh, insert that node to the list okay so this is what we have to do but there are some issues okay what are the issues so this node this list can have different uh, state so one case one it can be an empty list so you can see when we create the list it's empty okay the second one and non non empty list so these are the two cases we have to consider an empty list uh, is different and uh, non uh, from the non empty list okay so so we have to uh, consider these two okay and the inserting also uh, is different with the position okay position the position can be at the beginning so when you insert at the beginning of a list it's different and at the end of the list it's different and then in the middle of the list it's different so so you can see there are uh, several cases we have to discuss so we will discuss one by one first we will discuss how to check how to insert at the beginning so i will say this function is insert as the first node so we pass the value so our function will not return anything and we have value okay and then so what we have to do so there are two cases here so one case is an empty list the other one is non empty list okay so our position is not a problem because we are now only inserting and as the first node so if if it's, if if the answer so first first thing actually first thing we have to create the node okay so we create the node and we store that in a temporary variable called temp okay and we have something like this and we store the value say value here so now we have create the node so this one is five and this one is actually null because when we create the node uh, this one will be assigned to null so it doesn't have any value inside this pointer so now there are two cases one is empty list. so if it is empty so how do you check we have to check whether the list is empty or not so how do you check so how do you check the whether the list is empty or not so if list is empty what is the value of head or tail in that case so empty means you don't have any any list that means your head will be null and your tail also will be null so you can check this so you can check this 
and if this is true one of these oh, oh, actually both will be true so you can check either this or this okay so if you check this and if it is true that means head is null that means you don't have a starting address if you don't have a starting address in the list that means you don't have any any nodes in the list that means an empty list so if it is an empty list what happened is so you have now your node and what you can do is you make your head pointing to this one and your tail also pointing to this one so this is null and this is some value we don't know okay so this is how it will look like when we insert the first node okay so if, we, if the list is empty the head node tail will be null and if it is null we have to do is we have to just point head to this new node which is actually temp okay and then we make tail also the same nodes, node because when we have one node starting node and the ending node will be the same node okay and then then the second uh, case second case is the list is not empty so how 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 will the uh, list look like now so it can have no something like this This one can be null and this is the last node so the tail will be pointing to this one and this is the first node and your head will point into this one so your new node is you want to insert it to here so this node we have to have a variable to store it uh, point to it so we have something like this so we this one actually null So what we want to do is first we have this next point of this one and we make it point to this one okay so so we didn't do any changes to link list yet okay because the list will start from here and from here you can go here because you know the address of this one from from here you can go here from here you can go here from here you can go here and from here it's null you stop and you can see you stop at 10 okay so still the link uh, list is same but now if you start here you will you can go here so if you start here this you can go here and after that you can go here so when you insert your first node you have to start from here because when you insert your new node to the link list uh, uh, your first node will be this and this one will be the second node so if it is first node you can go to this one because you make this one equal this one uh, the next pointer of this one equal to this one and now what we want to do is we have to change the head pointer from here to here that's all so now your link, link list will look like something like this. So you don't have this one now. Okay. So now if you ask to uh, print or something, you start with the head and the head is this one. Now you print this one and then you go and print this one, print this one, print this one, and finally you will end this one. So this is the two cases. The, the difference is here you have to uh, uh, change the head to this one and here you you do the same thing but here you have to change the tail as well but here you don't change the tail tail is with the same node so you don't change the tail here so here you change the both tail to temp and head to temp because earlier both were null but here uh, when you insert an unnamed list you don't change the tail so that is why we need two cases because we cannot write the uh, algorithm in the same manner because we need uh, to have two uh, 
uh, very well. So we will write this now and see uh, how we can do it. Okay, so now we have to write this insert function. Okay, so we will start writing. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, we will uh, write the insert function. So void insert first. So we are going to insert our uh, node to this one. So we pass a value or key or whatever. And first thing, according to our algorithm, we have to create the node. And to create the node, we create a function, uh, sorry, pointer variable temp and new uh, node and we pass the key value because we have a uh, overloaded constructor so we can pass the, uh, the value and initialize it so now the node is created and the key is initialized to the member variable key and the next pointer of that one will be null so now what we have to do is we have to check our two cases okay so to check condi cases conditions we have to create an if condition and uh, so so we have to check the list is empty so we check we we discuss how to do it so we have to check the so head pointer and we have to check whether it is null so if it is null, this means we our uh, list is empty because we don't have a <coughs> starting address. Okay, else means our list is not empty. That means we are having a uh, non-empty list. Okay, and in, if it is an empty list, what we have to do is so we have a node. And we have to point the starting address of the list to the our new node, and the tail also should be new, and the size should be increased by one, and it will be one. And it, if it is non-empty non list, so this is non-empty now. So now what we want to do? So we want to first we discuss this. Uh, so first we want to put the temp variable next point eh, to so you imagine what happening is now. So you have a node and from that node because uh, so this is uh, the temp will be our first node now. So from that first node we have to go to the second node. So now the second node will be the current first node. The current first node is head. Okay. So we want to make the temp next equals to head. And now we want to change the head pointer to the new first node. New first node is our temp. And we want to increase our size by one. So can you, can you, uh, uh, can you uh, understand this? So this is same. 
as so okay so so we will discuss this so we can see so what, how we did was uh, can you see both uh, uh, my cord and uh, the whiteboard both can you see the whiteboard and the uh, uh, visual studio uh, source can you see, see yes. yes sir so you can see now so so we have the temp uh, uh, variable and we create that one here and then we check whether this is null the head pointer and the ta or tail pointer in that case both are null if both are null that means we have so when we create the link list you can see we make head is null tail is null okay so if there's nothing in it this will be null okay if it is null what we move is this we make the head equals we point to this new node temp head equals temp and the tail should be also point to this variable and increase the size and if it is uh, temp sorry if it is non empty list it will be something like this so our head will be pointing to uh, this node this is the first node now so what we want to do first is we take our so we create our new node here and after that we will come into head is not null now there will be a so head is pointing to this node so it is not null that means we will come to this place and we will check the sorry we will do what we will do is we create the node and we take the next pointer and assign it to head head is pointing to this node so now our temp next will be pointing to this one and after that we are still pointing to our head to here and we take this one and move point to this one so we take the head pointer and change it to temp so now our head will be equal to temp that means we are pointing to this one and now we will start from uh, this node so to check that one we need to print it okay so how do you print a link list okay to print the link list so we have to do something like this so we have a link list yeah from here we are pointing to this one from here we are pointing to this one from here we are pointing to this one and say we are the final one is null and this is tail and this is head so we can have values whatever the values we don't know okay as the <coughs> key okay so how do you print it now so to print it we have to always with in a link list we start from here so we make a temporary pointer say current okay so we start with current equals head so what will happen when we current equals head means uh, so the current pointer will be pointing to head and this this one so the current will also be pointing to the first node so then we print current after that what we will do is move to next node so how do you do it how do you move from here to the next node so after that we want to move the current pointer from here to here so how do you do it so we have to change the current pointer current equals can anyone think so so now current pointer is this one 
So now after that we have to move it to this one. So how do you do it? Anyone can answer? Can anyone answer? So how do, so we have to take the address of this one. So how do you get the address of this one? So you have to move make current equals address of this one. So what is the address of this one? So this is current. Okay. So what is uh, uh, what is stored in this this section? Can anyone answer? What is the what is the uh, what are we? So this is the next pointer. So what are we store uh, storing in this next pointer? Can anyone answer? Can anyone answer? Can anyone answer? Otherwise, I have to ask from someone. Can anyone answer? What is what is the value stored here? So this is next. So we'll can uh, MFF Ahmed give me the answer two three two six nine. The uh, address of uh, value three. Yeah, address of not the next node. Okay. Yeah. Good. So 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 that means the address of this one. So if you want to move the current point on this one. We have to uh, assign this value to current. So that means current. Current. Uh, so so we have to use. So there are two. Uh, Operators to access uh, member variables. One is dot. So say a dot y or whatever. The other one is this one. Okay. So if this is a uh, uh, normal variable, we use dot operator. And it is a pointer to access member variable. We have to use this arrow operator. Since this is a pointer, we have to use this arrow to access the member variable. And next. Okay, so we make current equals current next. Now, current will be pointed to current next is this one, pointing to this address. Okay, and then we print this one, and then again we do current equals current next and print the value, and then we again do a current equals current next and uh, print in. This value and then we do a current equals current next. So now uh, we will be current will be null because the last value doesn't point, uh, point to any variable, so it will be null. So now we have to stop. So, what is the stopping criteria? Uh, the criteria is until which is not null, or while it is not null, we, are, we have to move forward. And when it is null, we have to break the loop. So this is how we, uh, we have to uh, do it. So how do you do it? So we have to use a while loop. So we have to start not pointer current. We have to create a new temporary variable. And we have to start with head. So we start the head. With head. So that means oops. so we will be at the first current will be head here. And then what we will do is we have to move 
while so we have to print while current is not null while current equals not null not null what we have to do if it is current is not null we can access that location that means the current is pointing to some memory a node so node is not null that means we can print the value so we can see out current current key the, the data value and uh, then we have to move to the next node current equals current next and this is all okay so now we will uh, do this so when when the current is null that means when you come here it will break so it will uh, not go into the loop and the loop uh, while loop uh, finishes and then we can uh, have it uh, finished okay so we will see now how to do this okay so because without uh, having this we cannot uh, see the value so we'll write the function display or print and we don't have we need not we don't need any input parameters and we start node pointer current equals head and while current is not equals to null so if the current is not equal to null we can so that means we can print so print c out std we print the current and it's a pointer so we have no we cannot use dot notation we have to use this uh, notation and you can see it will prompt us the uh, variables so we print key and then we will print some space okay and then after printing we have to go to the next node so next node is current equals current next okay finally we will uh, print uh, a new line okay so this one is STD should be I, I, I haven't included the namespace uh, so I have to use STD okay so this is how we um, uh, write the uh, function so now we will use it okay so now we have list and list insert first we will insert some values. We will insert the first node and we will insert two nodes. And we will insert another node. And now, after that, we will print. Now uh, we will run this and see whether there are errors. Okay, so you can see now. Uh, so print hello world and then you have your printing 24, 34 and 23. 
and you can see the first node we have inserted is 23 this will be the first node and we are inserting from the beginning and after inserting the second node this node will be second node this one will be first and then we insert this one and this one will be inserted as the first node so uh, this one will be inserted uh, before the 34 and when we are printing it will print this one this one and this one so we will uh, So we will uh, put a breakpoint. Yeah. And we will run this now. So now we are here and we are we will go into the function uh, step into F11. And now we are here. So now we are passing 23. And so first we create the memory so you can see now uh, the memory for temp is created 23 and the next one is null and the key value is 23 you cannot i'm not sure when you can read it and then uh, what we do is we check whether the head is null and uh, when we insert the first node you can see head is null so it will go into this one now so you can see it goes into this line now you can see head is uh, head is equal to temp temp uh, address is 0 11 ce 6 b 0 so those two values were assigned to head and tail and the size will was increased by one and then you exit from the function you can see you go into the second node we step into so now you created a uh, new node so the address is 011 ce288 it's in a completely different uh, location the memory is allocated and then we will see what happens here now you can see head is not empty so this is the first node so so head is pointing to the ce6b0 location and this one is completely different location the new node and now you create the temp next into head so now you can see temp next is pointing to head this uh, the previous node and then you change the address of temp to the uh, head to the temp and increase the size by one by one and then we go to the next node and then we display so we will go into the we will go to the display function and see how it happens so we start in a uh, head node and is 0 11 ce 2 f 8 and we start with this one and then we print the value uh, current key so current key is 24 we print 24 and then what we do is this is the current and from current next node is this one from here next node is this one so you can see uh, so you can go from current next is the next node and from that node next we can go to the next one so so using this next pointer we can travel one by one so that is what we are uh, doing here so so you can see the current node is 24 current value 24 current next is 34 current next key is 23 so these three values are the values we are printing okay so now you can print this okay so this is how we uh, How we um, use these two functions so so we have two more uh, functions uh, to write so we will uh, write that so the next one
is to insert and we last so the next one is insert last so so we have to enter to the end of the list so if you have an empty list so there are two cases here empty list so if it is empty the same we have to do okay we have to make the so first we have to create the list create the node as earlier and then uh, we check whether it's an empty list if it is empty list we do the same thing we uh, assign uh, the temp sorry head and tail uh, to the temp and if it is non empty list so what we will do so if it is non empty so how how does it look like so we will have something like this so if it is non empty your head will be somewhere here and your tail will be somewhere here and this is not so this is uh, how the uh, our link list look like and we will create the new node now this is new and we will assign this to temp pointer and uh, this is null okay and this other is so what happens uh, when we insert this one so in, in when we insert this one this should come here okay so this should be the last node and from here you have to go this way so what we have to do is so we now we are stopping here we have null and from here first thing you have to do is we have to from here we have to tell the link list that it's not the last node there's another node here and we are going we are pointing to this node so the next node of this node should be pointing to our new node and then after doing this uh, this is not the last node now and now we have to make the tail pointing to this one okay and we have to increase the size by one so this is what we have to do when we have a new node in the link list so we will see how to write this now so insert first is something like this and we will write uh, insert last identity first we have to create the node node pointer temp so we store that in the temp new node and we pass the key and it will be stored in the class and now we have to check the list is empty how do we check if head or tail in that case equals null this means the list is empty so what happened if the list is empty else means if you go to the else part the list is not empty so if the list is empty we have to make our head equals uh, head equals uh, temp and tail also should be pointed to temp because this is the only node so the starting node and the ending node is same size equals size plus one and if it is the last node what we have to do is this so we have to take this one next pointer to this one and then uh, change the uh, this one to here so we have to do two things first thing take the 
Okay, so this is the last node, the present last node, present last node, next node, next pointer. Okay, so the present last node is this one. This one's next pointer is this one. So now it is null. We have to make that point into Hello, there was a, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, um, so um, today it's, it's raining uh, a lot here. So that's why the connection is uh, having problems. So can you hear me still? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so first what we want to do is, we have to take the uh, tail, next, the current node, the last node of the uh, list, the present uh, last node, and take the next, pointer and point into the new our uh, new node which is stem and then we have to change the tail point into our new node okay and then we have to increase our size by one okay so we will uh, we will uh, check this one here and after that uh, we will insert list okay we will print this one and then uh, we will uh, list insert last number And list. Okay. And list. Okay. So now we will run this. And you can see. So first, uh, we will insert 23, insert beginning as the first node, 34, and the uh, 24 will be inserted in the beginning. So, so this will be the first display, and then we insert 100 and the last. So after, so this is the current last node is 23, and then the 100 will be inserted, and another 100 will be inserted here, and then the 200 will be inserted here. So you can see uh, this one also works fine. The next case is insert insert at a given position. Okay. So uh, so we have a list like this
So here uh, we have to have some convention. So so since it's a given position, so here also we have to uh, create a uh, convention like uh, so. This is the zero position. One, two, three, four. Similar to array. So we can have a, a convention that the first node is zero position and uh, uh, this is the first position, second position, third position, and fourth position. Likewise, we have to have a uh, 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 standard. Okay, and now we can, for a given position, can be. So we can insert some some a node here. So we can insert here. So or we can insert at the end. So we have done this too. We have insert a node at the beginning here, or we have inserted here at the end, and then we have ins we can insert here, 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 and here. Okay, so you can see there are uh, so we the, our number of elements are five, so the size is five. We have one, two, three, four, five elements. So we have size five. So we can insert. So this is the zero position. We, if you want to insert something to the zero position, our node will be here. And this is the one, two, second position, third position, fourth position, and fifth position. So if the size is five, we can insert from zero to five. That means our position should be less than or equal to size. Oh. Greater than or equal to zero. So, so first we have to check our. So we can uh, give any position. The users can give any position, and first we have to check the position. The position can be from zero to size. Okay. So first we have to do this thing, and after that we have to go to correct position. So how do you go to correct question? So how do you go to the correct question? Okay. Say if it is, if you want to insert a node here, third position. So what will happen? What should happen is from here, our link list should come here. So not here. So now we are from here. We go to the from second to third position. But if we insert another node from here, we have to go to this one, and from here we have to go to this one. So this is first, and this second. So if we do these two, now we will not have this one. So our uh, link list will be we start from here, here, and come here, and from here we go here, and from here we go here, and here, here, and we will uh, stop here. So now you can see we have inserted our new node in the third position. So now this one will be one, two. Sorry, this one will be zero, one, two, and this is three, four, five. So now 
we have inserted this one. To do that, we have to, when we uh, traverse, we have to change the address of this node because earlier we go from here to here, but we want to change it from here to here. So now, when we start from here and stop here, that means if you want to insert at the third position, we have to stop, start, stop at the second node. Otherwise, we cannot change this one. So if you stop here, we don't have any access to this node. So uh, we cannot stop here. So uh, mind you this, it's this is very important. If you want to insert it here, the third position, we have to stop at the second node. And then we have to go from here and change these two nodes. Okay, so how do you do this now? We have to use a uh, for loop. Okay, so if you want to insert to the so if you want to insert so if you want to insert here. Okay, sorry. here so you can see uh, you have to uh, you have to stop here so if if the insert position is one you don't have to so your current you, so here also you have to use a current variable your current variable should not move so if you want to insert in the second position your current variable should move one time current equals current next should be done one time so the current variable should move one time if you want to insert to the second position. If you want to insert to the third position, current variable should move two times. One, two. So you stop here. If you want to stop uh, insert into the fourth position, your current variable should move one, two, three times. That means if you want to insert to the position equal say x, you have to move current, you have to move x minus 1 times forward. Okay, so this is what we have to do. So we will try to program this now. Okay. So we first we have to give the position and the key and we create a node first what we do is we check the position. Position is less than zero. That means it's, it's not a valid position or position greater than size. In both these cases, position is not valid because the valid position is from zero to size uh, equal size. Okay, if it is greater than size, it's not a valid position. So we now, we, uh, not valid position. And we return from the function. Else. Okay. Else if. So first we have to check position equals zero. So what is the meaning of position equal zero? If the position is zero, this means we are inserting to the beginning. So we can in use insert. We have write this function. We don't want to do anything. Uh, and we pass the key. Else, if position equal size. So this is inserted in the 
last element so we don't want to uh, uh, do anything we have written this one insert last because we want to do this because these are different cases so insert uh, first node we want to change the head pointer and if you insert to the last node we want to uh, change the tail pointer and if we want to insert in the begin uh, middle we don't want to change any of the uh, pointer so else means the middle so now we want to write a for loop because we want to move i equals 0 i less than size sorry position minus 1 times i plus plus so we uh, discuss this uh, uh, so we have to start from the we have to have a current pointer to move okay uh, we start with head pointer always we have to start in the first node with his head and we move current equals current So what happened is here if the position is uh, so cannot be zero if position cannot be zero because if it is zero it comes here position is uh, cannot be greater than or size because if it is size it comes here if it is in the middle so position can be one two three or something like that so if it is one we are inserting the first position so one means one minus one means zero so if i is uh, when this one is zero this loop will not run any time so will run only zero time if it is two two minus one is one so i less than one it will run one times okay so then it will move one times uh, to the the current pointer will move to the uh, next pointer so now when you do this it will move to the uh, node just before the insertion so first we have created our node temp temp next should be equal to what can anyone tell me the answer so how, how do you do this okay so we have something like this now so this is current variable and uh, this is our temp so first we want to move this one to this one because if we move this one to this one first okay what happens there's a problem so if you move this one first so we know now this is current and current next one so this is the current next pointer to this temp what will happen is we will lose this connection and after that so we don't we haven't done this yet okay so now after that we will lose all these addresses because we have uh, missed the connection so we cannot do this one first okay so this connection should be there so first what we want to do is we have we can move this this connection first because temp, we have the address of this node in temp okay so temp next should be equal to this one okay so this one is so this one is current and we have the current next so this one is current next still the current next is this one because we haven't changed this this link okay so so we can move current uh, sorry temp next so temp next is this link equal to this one current next okay so current next is this node because still we are having this uh, link and current next is equals to this node and temp next temp is this one temp next is this node and if you want to move this one this one temp next 
if and this not which is current next okay so this is a little bit uh, confusing but uh, you must be able to do this so temp next is equal to current next and then then only we can change the current next equals uh, temp and we enter size okay so this is uh, all okay so i will just uh, write another uh, just, just check whether uh, insert at okay insert at position may be 2 and uh, number may be 35 or something like that okay and this not display and we run Can you see the output now? Yeah. No. So now, uh, so you can see this should be inserted after uh, second position. The first one is this one, second is this one, and it should be after 34. Okay, I will uh, share the output. You may not see the output. So you can see. 24, 30. Okay, that's a mistake. Sorry, uh, the mistake is I haven't, uh, I haven't included that key here. Pass when you are creating, I haven't passed the key, so that is the uh, problem. So now you run it again. So now. It's fine. Let's not share this. So now you can see 35 is inserted uh, in the correct place. Okay. 